just when I thought it couldn't get any better. Hey, what's up guys, Giacomo here. Depending on where you are in the world, you might have realized that as of April 22, Citizen released a bunch of new Aqualand Pro Masters. Not just any Pro Master, but the popular JP2000 has now been revamped. The model we're discussing today is the JP2007-17W. Case is steel and with a finished Citizen called IP Grey, which is sort of gum metal and most noticeably, the dial on this reference is full loom. That's right, more to that in a moment. So besides the full loom dial and finish, what is new on this reference? There's a bigger pip at 12 o'clock, slightly bigger numerals around the bezel. Gone is the Pro Master logo in the center of the case back, which is now minimalistic in terms of writings. But anyway, besides that, the rubber strap has been completely redesigned. It is now way softer compared to previous version. Not only that, but it is slimmer, especially at the lugs, where now it is no larger than 24 millimeters, which is the in-between lug size. In previous version, the strap was recessed right at the lug mount to allow fitting, but the strap itself was tapering down from a large width along the lug curve to convey a sense of seamless integration. All of that is gone now with the new strap. Also keepers are now rubber as opposed to steel for extra comfort. Sadly, the decompression times printed on the side are gone. The pin buckle is now way larger and of a different shape, arguably more substantial, less plain utilitarian and more fashionable Although this is not really new as it is there on new generation EcoDrive Aqualens. Not much else has changed. The new Aqualand retains the Quartz Caliber C520 and therefore all the functions and operations are identical to the previous model. Most importantly, the depth sensor is still there at 9 o'clock. And now for the really good news. This is a full loom dial and what is amazing as well is that indices and hands are lit in a different color for optimal legibility. Also, the loom extends all the way to the chapter ring. However, luminescence is not as persistent as one might have hoped. It is kind of fading pretty quickly. This style looks amazing. I think this new Aqualand looks amazing. No surprise there. I already appreciated the standard JP2000 and I love what they've done with the dial. All hands are black and contrasting with this yellow greenish color in this reference that makes for sharp looks. True to be told, I wish they made it available with a steel finish as well. I like this gun metal finish, it is okay, but the Aqualand looks amazing in steel. All in all, I have to say they did a good job with this one. I couldn't find any information on this new model neither on the Global Citizen website nor on the European one. The only place I could see them all listed is the Italian website. On that page you'll see also the two limited edition version with the green and the brown dial as well as a blue dial version with the steel bracelet. But because I couldn't see this model on the Global Citizen website and only on the Italian webpage, I called the sales department in Milan and I was indeed confirmed that these models were made for the European market only. And with that, I'm wrapping this one up. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the JP2007-17W. Thank you for watching until the end of this video and I will see you in the next one.